Audrey Aguaze stared at the floor as she was led into court. Prosecutors are questioning whether she was at the Boston Marathon and whether she was hurt in the bombings. The 26-year-old's accused of faking a brain injury and claiming nearly half a million dollars from a fund for the victims. We got a tip and then we did a further investigation to determine that uh, she was not at either Boston Medical Center or the Albany Medical Center for treatment at the time she said she was. Uh, and based upon that and other investigation, we believe that her claim to the one fund and her documentation uh, were false. That documentation we think had been fabricated or doctored. The attacks killed three people and wounded more than 260. Since then, thousands have donated to the one fund set up for the victims. But these aren't the first allegations of fraud. Just weeks ago, Brandon Mattier faced similar charges. Prosecutors say he claimed his aunt, who'd been dead for some time, lost her legs in the attack. He essentially tried to take millions of dollars away from people who suffered life-altering injuries. Who really got hurt. Would you say something to them? As a result of these cases, there are now tighter checks on those claiming to be victims of the Boston Marathon bombings. Stephen Douglas, Sky News.